For the fifth year in a row, the New York Jets will return to Cortland this summer to host their training camp. The whole town is kind of electric when it comes because, you know, Cortland's a great town, um, but this is just added spice. So, you know, you get extra visitors in the town and, and you never know who, if you're out at Tops or at Doug's Fish Fry or at Walmart, what players are going to come in. For Mark, owner of Doug's Fish Fry and longtime Jets fan, Jets training camp brings more than just his favorite team to his city. For Jets training camp, I would say it increases our business about 20 percent. You know, our business has increased every year that they've come. Last year, Jets training camp brought more than 20 21,000 visitors to Cortland. Those visitors spent over $1.6 million, and experts estimate that Jets training camp has pumped almost $20 million into Cortland's economy over the last four years. But Jets training camp is more than just a boon for local businesses. Sports business students here at SUNY Cortland can get a firsthand look at what it takes to work for an NFL team. The internships that the Jets provide have been in sport management, communications, athletic training, a whole host of different uh, different disciplines. Each summer, more than 50 SUNY Cortland students intern for the Jets. It really has an incredible learning experience for, for our students, and this goes on beyond that. We've had many students who've gone on to full-time jobs with the Jets organization. Though the exact dates of this year's training camp have not yet been finalized, Cortland is ready to host the thousands of Jets fans that are sure to arrive late this summer. Reporting from Cortland, I'm Kelly Callen.